Hello, now I am going to discuss Junior English Book 2, page number 6 and today's topic is Cinderella. Here we will get a comprehension, you know I think or if you do not know just listen that comprehension means to understand, it means you will get an extract or writing or a piece of writing and after reading that writing you will get some questions like this and you should answer from the extract. So, which extract or which piece of writing you will get, you should read it attentively, then you can answer the question properly. So, let us start to read this story, here it is written, Cinderella ran to the garden and brought her godmother the finest pumpkin she could find, wondering how this would help her to go to the ball. The godmother scooped out the inside of the pumpkin, leaving nothing but the rind. Then she tossed it with her magic wand and the pumpkin was changed in a moment into a fine coach all shining with gold. After that, she went to look into the mouse trap where she found six mice all alive. She told Cinderella to lift the trap door up a little and as each mouse came out, she gave it a tap with her wand. At once, it was changed into a beautiful horse. This made a very fine team of six horses, all dappled grey in colour. We have found here some questions, we need to answer these questions. From which place we will answer it? After reading this, from this place we will answer it. So, whenever you will go to answer, you will face some problem, the first problem to understand what you have understood actually. So, where you will get problem or obstacle? If you do not know some word meaning in one writing or in one in a comprehension, that time you will face problem. To overcome that problem, you need to learn, you need to gather many vocabulary. So, how you will collect it? Whenever you will read, it can be mathematics, science, geography or any other subject. If you find there any unknown word meaning, try to get the word meaning and write it in your exercise book or a diary and every week and try to revise it and then your vocabulary will be increased. So, let us answer the first question. What is written here? Where did Cinderella find the pumpkin? Where? Where she found it? Cinderella ran to the garden and brought her godmother the finest pumpkin she could find. So, we have found it the place where she got it in the garden. So, how will you write the answer? You should write the answer like this way, Cinderella found the pumpkin. the pumpkin in the garden, in the garden see. One thing you should keep remember, here it is written see, could find, here the word is find and again see, in this place here is the find, but I have used here found, why? Because you need to keep remember, if you get the question in past tense, your answer should be in the past tense. Here by the word did, we have understood the question is asked in the past tense. If you do not know about the tense, you just keep remember we have got or we have three times like now what we are doing, now I am writing with you or I am talking with you about a comprehension, it is present tense. I took a class yesterday that was page number 5, the topic was adjectives, it was past means it is called past time, it is past tense and tomorrow or another day I will do another exercise, it will be future time means we are getting 3 times, this is called tenses, these are present tense, past tense and future tense, what is happening now it is called present, what happened before it is past and what will happen that is called future, just keep remember this. I am just writing here in one place, 
present, past and future. Though you will find later it has subdivision also. Forget it now, just keep remember if you get the question with past tense, your answer should be in the past tense. So, next one, what happened when her godmother touched the pumpkin with her wand? So, let us see, let us see what she did. Here it is written, then she touched it with her magic wand and the pumpkin was changed in a moment into a fine coach, all with all shining with gold. So, she changed into it a fine coach. Write the answer that is what happened when her godmother touched the pumpkin with her wand. Answer should be the pumpkin changed into a golden coach. We can write this in one place. Here we can write say two number. We can write the pumpkin, the pumpkin changed into changed into changed into a, a golden coach when her godmother Tossed it with the wand. Here, one thing just keep remember I have used here it. Why it? Because already I have used pumpkin on place, so that is why I did not use its name again. Next one, three number what happened to the mice when she tapped them with the wand? What happened? See. See here, she told Cinderella to lift the trap door up a little and as each mouse came out, she gave it a tap with her wand. At once, it was changed into a beautiful horse. So, what happened? The mice changed into a team of horses. So, let us write the answer. So, here we can write the answer of 3. The mice changed into the mice changed changed in to a team of horses horses then you will let when she tapped them when she that them with the want. Next one, see what is another word for rind? This is the word meaning what you have understood after reading this. So, we need to read it so carefully. Here it is written, the godmother scooped out the inside of the pumpkin, leaving nothing but the rind and she kept only the rind. It means the outside of it. So, outside what we, we get in of pumpkin, we get actually peel or skin. So, we can write another word for another word for rind is what is peel or skin. Last one, does dappled mean smooth and silky having spots and patches of a different color striped like a tabby cat. So, here see where it is written, this made a very fine team of six horses all dappled gray in color. I think this is more appropriate answer for this word that is having spots and patches of a different color. Hope you have understood today's topic. Today we have done a comprehension. Name is Cinderella. Next time we will do page number 7 and we will find there the topic questions. Bye for today.